Now, the defamation trial involving Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung and blogger Leong Tzu Hien has ended with a twist. The defense has decided not to call Mr. Leong to the stand, despite earlier saying he would. Judgment will be delivered at a later date. The hearing comes two years after Mr. Lee filed suit against Mr. Leong over an article shared on Facebook that alleged the Prime Minister had helped launder 1MDB funds. Deborah Wong has this report. What started as a four-day trial which drew queues as early as 4 a.m. ground to a halt by the second day. This after Defence Counsel Lim Tian decided that Mr. Leong Zihian will not be taking the stand. Now, Mr. Lim's stand is that the burden of proof lies with the plaintiff, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, and not his client. His defence will be given to the judge in submissions. Mr. Lim also called the case frivolous, vexatious and abusive. Now, this drew a sharp rebuke from Mr. Lee's lawyer, Mr. Devinder Singh, who pointed out that the defence had made clear in their opening statement that Mr. Leong would present himself for cross-examination. He added that Mr. Leong had also posted that this case was for every Singaporean who shared a post on Facebook. And yet, in what Mr. Singh calls an unsurprising and ironic move, Mr. Leong has turned tail and fled, while Mr. Lee testified to defend himself. Earlier in the day, Dr. Fan Tuan Kuang, the plaintiff's social media expert, took the stand. Mr. Lim questioned his credibility as an independent witness, saying that Dr. Fan had received research funding from the government in the past. To that, Dr. Fan explained that funding was given to his teams and not him alone, and that they have academic freedom to do unbiased research. When Mr. Lim started describing his report as guesswork and speculative, Dr. Fan replied that it was based on intensive studies with data scientists and international experts. Prime Minister Lee was also present in court. On Tuesday, he had said that the suit came about because he had a personal obligation to protect his own reputation. Oral submissions have been scheduled for end November.